Hi everyone, this is Ashish here from The Traveler's Tale. Thank you for tuning in. And today it's gonna be a different vlog. It's not a regular motor or travel vlog. So we have come to this place, a uh, lot of greenery around, a lot of trees around. So when I got this bike new, I was very excited. As and when I fit the various accessories, I realized that there are a lot of accessories which I didn't need it. So that's why I wanted to talk so that whenever you are buying any accessories or you are doing any modifications on your bike, this is something you can make a note of it so that you don't waste your money unnecessarily. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the mirrors. You know, okay, this is aftermarket mirrors. This is from KTM, a 390 Adventure or Duke basically this is more studied and well built than the stock one the stock one is round which doesn't have much visibility whenever you are above 60 it uh, tends to shake a lot so that's the reason i got this installed the second thing which i've changed over here is the stock bulb which comes in a orange light the reason i changed it is because uh, it doesn't have a good throw you know during the night times the visibility is not good right now i have fixed is a led light i'll show you on a screen what brand it is and uh, what is the price the advantage of this is that it is much more brighter and the throw is much more better next accessory i'm going to talk about is the headlight grill which you cannot see over here but i had fixed it the main reason i fixed it is because i thought that while going off-roading and all the stones and all should not damage my headlight but uh, one of the disadvantages I have realized while doing a Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary that side of ride during the night time is that the visibility becomes less because of the head grill. You will see that whatever the design is on the head grill, you know, so it obstructs the view a bit. For example, I had a honeycomb sort of design on my head grill and uh, that was all visible on the road and I was not able to see it properly. So as soon as I came back from that ride, I removed it right now. Next accessories is uh, the fog lamps. This are from HJG. And uh, the reason I fixed it is because, uh, uh, you know, when you are doing night rides, the visibility becomes very less and this really helps. This yellow one which you can see over here is a cover, basically. Uh, it used to be here over, over here also, but while doing a servicing, you know, it got lost. So while giving it for servicing, that's a tip that you can take it out like this and then give it for servicing because uh, they might lose this one. And uh, one thing which I wanted to mention is that whenever you are fixing it, please do not fix it over here on the top and all because that will definitely, you know, uh, hamper the oncoming traffic, the visibility and uh, the, uh, basically you will blind them. So I would advise even legally you are supposed to fix your uh, fog lamps below your headlight and that's what I've done. And if you, have, if you see over here, I've tilted it a bit so that I can only focus on the lower part of the ground or on the road and not hit someone's you know eye it's not only you should be able to see the road but the oncoming traffic should also be able to see the road right or else uh, you know mishaps may happen be careful about that uh, the next one is a windshield extender which i had fixed it over here earlier as you might can see on the screen the reason I took it out is because I didn't feel that much of impact while using that. So windshield extender is supposed to protect you from the wind blast. Whenever you are riding fast, the wind hits your face or the helmet or the eyes, that area, right? So that's a wind blast. To protect that, actually, you put a windshield. And uh, as this stock one is a little uh, low in height, so that, that's an extender. But I didn't feel much of a difference with this stock one the wind blast was on my chin area with the extender it was coming to my eyes it was creating more problem than the advantages so that is one of the reasons why i have taken that out plus another main reason to take that out was because during the night time and if it is raining and all you know so the water will get accumulated in that area or the dust particles will get accumulated and it becomes very difficult to see the uh, your potholes and all visibility gets affected so that is the main reason I took it out. You might consider buying it. For me, it didn't work out, so I took it out. So this is uh, the knuckle guard, which uh, is very important actually, I feel, because whenever you are riding and if something comes into impact, you know, it might damage your hand and all that. This is something you must have, is what I believe, because even if it falls, it takes this impact. It will take this impact first and rather than uh, going and damaging your clutch. So this is something you can consider uh, buying it. Uh, the next accessory which I have fitted on my bike is this one, a GoPro mount, basically. So what it does is that you can mount your GoPro over here and take a selfie sort of shot while you are riding. And this can be also used for various uh, purposes, like you can also see uh, the front view based on whatever you can do. And, it, and it's of good quality, it's made of a metal. Only this portion is the plastic part. 
which, uh, which I recommend if you are using a second camera. The next accessory I'm going to talk about is this mobile phone charger and the holder, which is very common. The one I'm using is LJP, it's made of a metal, it's very sturdy and it also charges it you can connect your usb port over here while you are not using it you can close it basically the dust or the rain or the water will not seep in inside it so which is a good feature okay this uh, is a leg guard or the crash guard or the engine guard you can call it as so this is factory fit uh, this is from royal infield itself this is not that sturdy uh, once my bike fell down and it got bent i do not recommend, if you want to have a proper crash guard or engine guard, I would suggest something like Mototalk or Zana, which I'll be fixing very soon. Uh, they cost about some 4,000, 5,000, but it covers the whole engine, plus it will have a, you know, it comes with a slider and all, and it is of little thick material rather than this one. This is very uh, flimsy, you know. This is from Royal Enfield, but uh, not advisable. The next accessory I'm gonna talk about is this uh, Pro Taper uh, gear shifter. Provides a support for changing the gear. It's more smoother and doesn't pain. Uh, this one is good. Uh, this is one of the must have accessory, I must say. There's a radiator grill. So basically this protects your radiator, which is on the back side. This is also made of a metal. It is a good quality and uh, there's a branding of Himalayan over here. The next accessory is the master cylinder guard, as you can see over here. This is also from Himalayan uh, branded. I got it fixed from the showroom itself. Next one is the aftermarket guard, which I fixed it on this oil filter. This is to protect that oil uh, container, which is at the back. But I feel it's not that necessary. It's more of an aesthetic look you can get it. So these are the side pannier mount grills, which I've got it fixed from Royal Enfield itself. I use it whenever I'm doing a touring. I fixed my panniers, side panniers over here. And I'm also planning to get a top box over here to keep my helmets and all. The panniers are the stock uh, Royal Enfield, which I got it fixed from showroom again. This is the last accessory which I'll be talking about. Here I had fixed earlier a side stand extender. The advantage is that it will give you more surface area. And if you are parking your bike in somewhere muddy or mushy road. But for my height, whenever I was trying to remove the footrest it used to get you know buried on the mud and all but if you are 5 8 or 6 and all that stuff in height then probably you can easily flat foot it and uh, you can easily take it out but i'm 5 6 so i have to do a little tiptoe uh, that's where you know it becomes a little issue so that's the reason i took it out so hope you enjoyed this vlog and found it informative i made this vlog so that unnecessarily you don't waste your money uh, please do your research and think about it before buying any accessories for your bike not only himalayan any other bike and that's about it thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share and like and also comment how i can improve my vlogs so i'll see you again on next vlog until then take care bye